In this video, I'd like to go over your list submission options for your checklists. To get where I'm at, you're going to go into the list section and then edit lists. You're going to select the list and then go into the settings tab to navigate where I am currently at. You have two different submission options here. By default, the individual list items can be submitted when completed. This will be your default option. So essentially, as you're completing tasks on your device, when you check an item off, you can see it's allowing me to submit that item. So I can submit items as I'm completing them. Again, this is your default view. The other option you have is the list can be submitted only after all items are completed. So if we go into this drawer count and I enter in the amount of pennies that I have on hand, let's say I have 65 pennies. Here you can see it is not giving me a submit option. So in this scenario, I have to complete every item in this list before I'm able to submit it. So those are your two submission options. I'd like to also go over these two options below in your list schedule. So presenting an option to display this list again once it's submitted. If you have a list that will be repeated after it's been completed, this is a great option. I've seen it used with amusement parks with customer waiver forms where they'll fill out the waiver, they submit the list, it then prompts them with a question of do you need another. Once they answer yes, it then displays that list again. Let's talk about the bump list option. Essentially what happens here with the schedule, as the list is being completed, you're going to submit the list. It will no longer display on your app. However, if I don't complete a list, it will remain there until the list is displayed again. So let's say with our opening list, that would be tomorrow morning. It will replace the incomplete list with a new fresh copy. Now within your display, you can also set an expiration so it drops off prior to that. Or perhaps you want it to remain there. This has to be completed even if it's two or three days later or if another list has displayed. And in which case you would turn this bump list option off and that list will remain on the device until it is completed. Thank <laughs> you.